I never could have expected this to come to the English TCG. What's going on guys? It's Steven aka Mr. SE back again with some TCG update news. I told you after VStar Universe when that set launches, it would only take about a week before we got Scarlet and Violet news, which is the next set coming to Japan and also to English, the next main set obviously, not Crown Zenith. But it is true, we have Scarlet and Violet news, let's get into it. Pokebeach.com link is in the description as always. We are going to be covering both the Japanese and the English Scarlet and Violet news. So stay tuned if you are going to, if you only want to hear the English news, that is going to be after we've covered the Japanese. You can also skip this if you want to skip the Japanese details, but we are going to get started with the Japanese news on this set. And let's dive into it. The official Japanese TCG website has officially revealed Scarlet EX and Violet EX. As posted before, the sets the sets will feature a total of 156 cards before Secret Rares. So this is actually two separate sets. That's the way I am understanding this. These are the equivalents of each other or these will be coming out simultaneously. Uh, simultaneously. Scarlet EX will be the first set and Violet EX will be the second set. They will be releasing at the same time, obviously, but you can pick up one or the other. We have two pack arts. That would only make sense because J uh, Japanese sets only have one pack art. So this is two. So I assume this will be two sets launching at the same time. That's how I understand this. They also specify sets, which is plural. So we have multiple sets. So that would only mean that these two are coming out as two separate sets. So Scarlet EX and Violet EX. It's not Scarlet and Violet EX. It is Scarlet EX and Violet EX. Were revealed two days ago in an official YouTube video, but the video has now been set private. Apparently Pokemon didn't mean to publish it that early, so it was a mistake. Somebody got fired, which explains why the official site didn't post the cards until now. Today's news is thus the official announcement. Strangely enough, the world's announcement that previewed the two legendaries, which I am probably going to butcher, Koridon EX and Maridon EX, were, was also published earlier than intended. Someone at Pokemon is trigger happy. So these are indeed part of the first announcement at Worlds in London, where I witnessed this live. These two were announced as the brand new face of the next gen these sets bring back the tcg's original pokemon ex mechanic which ran from 2003 till 2007 pokemon ex evolved from their normal pre-evolutions unlike the 2012 version of the pokemon ex with like uppercase which were always fully evolved basic pokemon though pokemon ex were inspired by pokemon ex so these are two different mechanics, two different uh, eras, so to speak. Uh, both are entirely different mechanics. This means this means cards that target Pokemon EX do not work on Pokemon EX and vice versa. Probably doesn't make sense if you don't play the TCG. I don't play the TCG, makes zero sense to me, but we move. We have some examples of the previous uh, Pokemon EX cards. We have a example with Ampharos. From 2003, Pokemon EX, the first EXs, and then we move to the latter version, the Pokemon EX from 20, after 2010 or 2012. This is an Ampharos EX, and then apparently we are going to be getting an Ampharos EX in this set as well. So that is the new version of the EX, Ampharos. The big new mechanic of these Girl and Violet games is terrestrialization. This gem-like transformation causes a Pokemon to become its terror type. This is usually one of the Pokemon's normal types, like fire type Arcanine, but it can also be a, com a completely different type. Example is the flying Pikachu type. Terrestrialized Pokemon wear a crown to indicate their terror typing. As such, some Pokemon EX in the Scarlet and Violet block will feature a terrestrial effect, 
box to indicate they're terrestrialized. Pokemon with this terrestrial effect don't take damage from attacks when they're on the bench. So again, if you don't play the TCG, it makes zero sense. Skip this. <laughs> you don't have to make sense of it. It is just explaining how it works in the TCG itself. This is seen on Arcanine EX below. Its artwork is crystallized to show it's terrestrialized. It's also wearing a fire type crown to indicate its stereotype is fire. So this example of a Arcanine EX in the terrestrialized form. And I love this Arcanine to be honest. Like I love the card in general. The fact that they are going with the traditional EX look. So it's just the box, but the card is decorated. I love this Arcanine e EX. Already love it. I didn't really collect when we first got the EXs in 2003. I was probably not really collecting at that point anymore. And then 2012-ish, I wasn't collecting. Still, I wasn't collecting. So this is the first time I will be in, in the moment or collecting at the time these <laughs> EXs release. So I'm excited. I like the design of these cards and I cannot wait to see more. There will almost certainly be Pokemon EX in the future that feature a Terra type different from its normal type. For example, a water type Charizard. Of course, they can play around with this. They have so many options. They can use a Pokemon 17 times. I think we have 17 types. Could be wrong. TCG has less typing, so maybe you factor in that in. So you only have a couple types to work with. But anyway, we divert. New blocks tend to start off simple in terms of mechanics and power because the allure is the new Pokemon. Later, the blocks start. Oh boy, oh boy, they're gonna spice it up. They're gonna uh, spice up the mechanics after all the new Pokemons have debuted. So, if historical patterns hold true, we should get our first Scarlet and Violet set on ve February 24th, 2023. This is referring to the English set. We should see its English reveal pretty soon. Oh no, this is the actual announcement of the. No, this is what? We should get our first Scarlet and Violet set on February 24, 2023. We're not getting this Japanese set in January. We should see the English reveal pretty soon. Stay tuned. Or is this still I think this is this is the English release date of the first main set. So I think Scarlet and Violet set that ha this has to be a reference to the English version. There's no way that this is the release date for the Japanese one. And we have a couple cards here of the set. Uh, we have the Growlithe and the Arcanine that we just saw. Ooh, Magnezone EX, not the greatest of uh, picture, but you could pretty, pretty clearly see what is going on on the card. Like it. And then the Legendaries, which we've already covered and were already announced a while ago. As posted before, the three starter decks EX. Starter set EX decks, wow, that's a mouthful, will release on the same day as the set. The, uh, the decks will feature the three starter Pokemon. And they have a, an additional promo card, so Lucario, Aphros, and Mimikyu. Nice. Ooh, this is the Lucario. Ooh, this is a good one. I like that Lucario. And then the Aphros, which we saw above as well, so this is the official big announcement amphros ex and then mimikyu ex as well i love these cards Ooh, and then a cyclozar again don't don't slander me in the comments by mispronouncing this is also a promo card so it's also going to be part of something the scarlet and violet premium trainer box ex has also been revealed okay we've just found out where this card is coming from i guess Promo, promo, where's the promo? There's no promo? What does this mean? Is this guaranteed that to contain these cards? Well, yo, Japanese products getting ETB? That is interesting. It will come with 10 packs of each set, so that is 20 packs. Seven Pokemon, four Nian trainers, four special. So you get. 20 packs and you get this full deck esque thing to build that's a lot yo is this the first time japanese product is getting an etb because i do not know of any japanese etbs 
Maybe there are, but I just don't know about it. But that's all about the Scarlet and Violet EX Japanese version. Now let's have a look at the news for the English Scarlet and Violet releases. So let's check that out. Scarlet and Violet English set revealed for March. What? Silver Borders? Yes, get hyped. Silver Borders are coming to the English TCG. They have heard us. They've heard our prayers. We are getting silver borders. Yes. Three hollows per pack and price increases. What is this? Our first Scarlet and Violet set will release in English on March 31st, 2023. What? So not at the end of February, but all the way on the last single day of March. That is crazy. This set would have released a month earlier in, in February, but they're probably trying to make space for Crown Zenith special release in January. That is crazy. March 31st. That is going to be a long wait, guys. That's going to be a long wait. Our English set will feature 198 cards before Secret Rares. This means it will be a combination of Scarlet EX and Violet EX. 156 cards plus its three starter decks EX cards. So this is the logo. This is the new gen, guys. Scarlet and Violet Sword and Shield is officially done. This is the logo we will be working with. That is the Scarlet and Violet logo. So get used to it. You're going to be seeing a lot of that in like the next year or two. And these are the legendaries again. These are the English cards, of course, but these are the same. For the first time ever, English card will use the same silver borders used in Japan. Oh my god, dude. I that's this is like the biggest news of the day. This changed both. This change both frames Pokemon. What? This change both frames Pokemon TCG artworks in its originally intended border and further unifies the game on a global level. I do not make any sense. I don't think I made any sense of that sentence, but we're not going to try again. A trainer subcategory, item supporter stadium, will be moved to the top left of the card to be more visible in players' hands. Currently, it's located on the top right of trainer cards. Okay, so again, that's a lot of improvement and quality of life for the actual TCG. Because... These are all technical things and quality of life, like I said, to be more visible visible for players. They literally say it. Be more visible, be more clear. The name of the energy will now be featured on the top of the card alongside a new subtype tag. Subtype tag. Subtype tag for energy. The energy symbol currently featured on energy cards will now appear on the bottom right of the energy cards. This change makes the amount and the type of energy attached to each Pokemon clear for each player. So again, quality of life updates. Set symbols will now be replaced by set codes, just like in Japan. The code includes includes the set sword or sword and shield, I wanted to say. Scarlet and Violet 1, and then language is English. It seems our cart rarities will also match up with Japan's. You can see Koraiden EX and Miraiden EX have Japanese double rare rarity which is called rr over there however our rarities will still be represented as images so the two stars are instead of the rr in the japanese version okay let's have a look at the actual cards yeah okay so we are gonna get two stars and the japanese format includes the double r okay so they're making a lot of changes, like small details, but they're making a lot of changes. Price increases have also been announced, less exciting, according to the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Company International. Due to the global inflation impacting the cost of materials and production, the Pokemon TCG products will see uh, varying MSRP increases in select markets, markets with the launch of Scarlet and Violet series. For example, the price of a booster pack will increase from $3.99 to $4.49, but this is not news. This was already confirmed, but now they've officially set the price, I guess. In an effort to continue providing a positive Pokemon TCG experience and value, each pack of Pokemon cards will now feature three 
Guaranteed foil cards per booster. All cards with a rarity of rare or higher will now be foil. That's nice. In addition, certain products will come with additional items. For example, the Elite Trainer Box will include an additional booster pack and a full art promo card. The booster pack artwork has also been revealed. It confirms a water type Gyarados EX will appear in the set as a terrestrialized card. Here is the image for the terrestrialized Gyarados. Looking nice. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see a Gyarados EX terrestrialized Pokemon. But quickly to come back on this uh, paragraph that we just read, prices are increasing, but they're gonna um, give us more value in each pack. It seems they're gonna increase it to three foil cards. That's probably gonna be one Hollow, two reverses. I would think. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll have to wait and see how that develops and when we get new updates. An ETB will include an extra pack and then each ETB will have a full art promo card. So with these special sets, we now have, uh, we currently had a promo card. So now that's going to be with every single set and you get an, an additional booster pack for the price increase. As posted before, Scarlet and Violet bring back TCG's original Pokemon EX mechanic, which ran from 2003 to 2007. We just read all of that on the Japanese portion of this uh, update. And this is also the same, so we're not gonna read it again. It's again the Arcanine. This is also the same information as we have on the Japanese article. So. If you skip the Japanese article, you might want to check that out anyway. But we have updated you guys with a bomb of news on the Scarlet and Violet EX new generation, both Japanese and English. We have a lot of quality of life updates. We have a lot of things getting changed in general. Tell me how you feel in the comments down below. Like all things considered, I see Pokemon making a positive a positive impact with all of these updates for the silver borders the hollows of course nobody wants to pay more for pokemon cards but unfortunately that is just the world where we live in right now so you are not going to stop that so we can moan about it but at least pokemon is giving something in return so that is amazing and with that we're going to wrap it up in for today's update video Leave your comments down below what you think about all these updates. Are you excited about Scarlet and Violet, the new generation of Pokemon TCG? Leave it in the comments down below. Smash that like button. Subscribe for new updates. If you want to get notified on the next update, my channel is all about that. Pokemon TCG updates, news. You can find it all on this channel. Click that subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.